Hi there, my name is Dr. Marissa May, and in this video, we're taking a look at some exponential functions. You may be wondering, well, how do you know it's exponential? Well, you see the variable x in the exponent. That tells us that this is an exponential function. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the graph itself, and we want to make a reflection about the y-axis on the same axis, and we're going to give the y-intercept. Now, in order to do this, we are going to be using Desmos Graphing Calculator, and I've linked it below in the description so that you too can use it. Be sure and bookmark it. It's an excellent resource because it's a free online graphing calculator. Now, before we jump into the graph, we want to make the original function, but we also want to have the reflection. And notice that we are reflecting about the y-axis. That's important because I want you to know that reflections require that we put a negative into the equation and we do it with the opposite variable. What do you mean, Dr. May? Well, let me show you what I mean. Because we're reflecting about the y-axis, we're going to substitute a negative x for x. You see how I did it with the opposite variable? So in place of the x in the original function, we're going to put in a negative x, just like that. That's going to create our y-axis reflection. So let's go to Desmos and take a look at both graphs. You can see here that I've typed in both of our equations. The red one, notice with Desmos using the red here, that is our original and the blue one being our reflection about the y-axis. Do you see how if I folded these graphs on the y-axis, I would get a mirror image on both sides? That tells us we've done the reflection correctly. One thing I want to point out, because this problem points it out, is that the y-intercept did not change for both of these functions. The y-axis reflection and the original have the same y-intercept, and that is at 0, 4. So let's record that. So from Desmos, we got that our y-intercept was at 0, 4. I hope this helps you with your graphing of reflections.